Hey everyone, ready to dive into some really cool stuff. We're going to unpack this clubhouse chat. Bunch of housing experts and investors all fired up about modular homes. And get this, they think this could be like the answer to affordable housing. Yeah, they were practically bouncing off the walls in there, weren't they? Seriously. So modular housing. Where do we even start? Okay, so we hear affordability crisis all the time, right? Like, it's practically background noise at this point. Right. But this got me thinking, what even is affordable anymore? Ooh, good question. And that's where modular housing comes in. Like, totally changes the game. One investor, I think he was in real estate, was saying he could fit, get this, 18 units on a single acre using modular. Wait, 18? How? That's the thing about modular. It just, it breaks the mold. You know, those oh, yeah. old zoning rules, they're out the window. So you're saying instead of one mega mansion, you could have 18 families living there. Bingo. And that's yeah. affordability on a whole new level, right? Dish. Okay, so I'm getting why these clubhouse folks were so excited. But for those of us who aren't, you know, construction gurus, what exactly is modular housing? I'm picturing like shipping containers or something. Funny you should say that. <laughs> that's a common misconception. Yeah. We're not just talking about trendy tiny homes here, although those have their place. This is about single family homes, backyard cottages, stuff built to code, the whole nine yards. So real houses just put together differently. Exactly. And don't let the prefab thing fool you. Yeah. These homes are built to last. Yeah. One expert was saying their homes can withstand. Are you ready for this? 160 mile per hour winds. 160? Are you serious? That's hurricane level stuff. Yep. Apparently they use this cool technique. They bolt the modules together, anchor them to the foundation, and boom, super strong structure. Way more resilient than your typical wood framed house. Wow, that's wild. I think they also mentioned something about building on tricky sites, right? Like places where you wouldn't even think of building a traditional house. You're thinking of helical piles. Imagine like these giant screws drilling into the earth creates this super stable foundation. Giant screws. Sounds tense. But it works. They can build on slopes, floodplains, all sorts of challenging terrain. Traditional foundations would be impossible or crazy expensive in those places. So it opens up a world of possibilities. Places that were basically off limits for building are suddenly back on the table. Exactly. And not only that, but think about it. If you're building in a factory, you're not at the mercy of the elements, right? right? No rain delays, no warped materials. Makes sense. So how does it actually work? Do they build the entire house in a factory and then just like drop it onto the lot? It's kind of like that, but more precise. Yeah. Imagine a house built with giant Legos, except these Legos are made of, you know, wood, steel, concrete, real deal materials. These Legos are the modules. They could be entire rooms, sections of the house. And they build these modules indoors in a factory setting. Exactly. And because it's a controlled environment, they can achieve level of precision and quality control that's tough to match on a traditional construction site. So it's like a car assembly line, but for houses. Exactly. And then once the modules are ready, they ship them to your building site on flatbed trucks. Okay, that's starting to paint a picture. So they assemble the modules on site, and that's where the speed comes in, right? Exactly. We're talking days or weeks, not months to assemble the whole thing. No way. That's incredible. So much faster than traditional construction. Right. And because of that speed, you're saving a ton of money on labor costs. Makes sense. But faster and cheaper, it almost sounds too good to be true. Were there any downsides or challenges they talked about in that clubhouse room? So it's got to be a catch, right? It can't all be sunshine and roses. Well, there are always a few bumps in the road, you know. Like what? Spill the tea. One of the biggies they talked about was financing. Ah, financing. The thorn in every homeowner's side. Right. Traditional mortgages, they're not always easy to come by for modular homes, especially in places where appraisers aren't totally up to speed on this whole modular thing. So you're telling me if I wanted to buy one of these bad boys, I'd need to be rolling in dough? Cash only. It's not that dire, but it can definitely be tricky. You see, appraisers, they love their comps. Comps, as in compliments on my awesome taste in houses. Uh-huh. No, not quite. Comps are comparable homes. Appraisers use them to figure out how much a house is worth. Okay, it? makes sense. So what's the problem? Well, imagine you've got this sleek, brand new, modular home, and it's surrounded by these, like, century-old Victorians. Yeah, good luck finding a comp for that. Exactly. It's like comparing apples to oranges. The appraiser's pulling their hair out, trying to figure out what to compare it to. So what's the solution? Are we stuck with these crazy comparisons? Okay, here's the good news. Hmm. The industry's wising up to this. Lenders are starting to realize, hey, 
Modular homes are a thing now. We got to figure this out. It's about time. Right. So some lenders are getting creative. They're accepting comps from further away. Like they're thinking, hey, a nearly identical modular home 50 miles away, that's a better comp than the Victorian mansion next door. Makes sense to me. So it's not a perfect system yet, but at least there's progress. Exactly. And think about it. As more and more modular homes are built, those comps, yeah, they're going to be easier and easier to find. The more data points, the better. It's like appraisers are finally joining the 21st century. Right. And the more lenders understand modular construction, the less risky it seems to them, which means more loans, better rates for buyers. It's a win-win. Okay, so financing hurdles aside, let's get back to the actual building process. You're telling me they build these houses in a factory. Like, how does that even work? Walk me through it. Okay, picture this. You've got this climate-controlled factory, right? Mm -hmm. Not your typical muddy construction site. Mm -hmm. Inside, it's like, well, remember those giant Legos we talked about? Okay, I'm starting to get a Lego obsession here, but I'm following. It's the perfect analogy. These Legos, or modules, they're being built with precision. Wood, steel, concrete, all high-quality stuff. And because it's a factory setting, they're not cutting corners. So no shoddy workmanship, no materials getting rained on. That's going to save a ton of headaches. Right. And time, too. Remember we talked about those super-fast build times. That's because once the modules are ready to go, they ship them out on flatbed trucks. Like a house on wheels. Pretty much. They arrive at the building site, and boom, it's like assembling a giant jigsaw puzzle. So they just... Put it all together on site. Exactly. And because they've been built in a factory under these controlled conditions, you're talking next level quality control. So these houses might actually be better built than traditional ones. That's what a lot of the experts were saying. Plus, they're held to the same building codes and safety standards as any other house. Inspections, permits, the whole nine yards. Okay, so no cutting corners there. That's good to know. But if they're built in a factory, does that mean you're stuck with some cookie cutter design? What about customization? That's the thing. People hear modular and they think boring or basic, but it couldn't be further from the truth. Oh, really? So I could have like a funky modern farmhouse built the modular way. Totally. You can customize the layout, the finishes, the whole shebang, granite countertops, hardwood floors, whatever your heart desires. So you're saying you could have a modular home that looks like, well, anything. Yep. And nobody would ever know the difference. That's wild. Okay. So we've covered financing, the building process. What about cost? Is it actually cheaper to build this way? That's the million dollar question, right? Yeah. And the short answer is yes. Music to my ears. Tell me more. Because you're building in a factory, you're saving on material waste, you're streamlining the whole construction process. It all adds up to big savings. How big are we talking? Give me some numbers. Well, it varies, but some experts say you could save up to 20% compared to building a traditional home. 20%. Now that's what I call affordable. So not only are we talking about faster builds, increased affordability, and access to challenging sites, but modular homes can also be more sustainable. It feels like we're ticking all the boxes here. And it yeah. gets even better. Remember those clubhouse folks? They were super pumped about the sustainability aspect too. Yeah, less material waste because everything's so right. precise in the factory. Yeah. And the homes themselves. Super airtight, which means... Lower energy bills. You got it. Yeah. And a smaller carbon footprint, too. Good for the planet, good for your wallet. Okay, so we've covered affordability, speed, sustainability. No, I, I got to ask the tough question. The one thing most people are probably wondering... Let me with it. Aesthetics. Let's be real. Nobody wants to live in a house that screams, I was built in a factory. I hear you. But honestly, that's one of the biggest misconceptions about modular homes. Those old school trailers, the cookie cutter designs, mm. that's ancient history. So what you're saying is, I could have a modular home that looks like, say, a charming craftsman bungalow. Absolutely. Or a sleek modern farmhouse. Or even a classic Victorian with all the gingerbread trim and everything. Get out of town. But how? The sky's the limit with customization these days. You choose the architectural style, the finishes, the materials, whatever floats your boat. So inside and out, it can look like any other house on the block. Exactly. Nobody would ever guess it was built differently. Mind blown. Okay, so if modular construction is this amazing, why isn't everybody doing it? What's the catch? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Seriously. <laughs> is it just a matter of getting the word out? Or is there something else holding this industry back? Well, awareness is definitely part of it. A lot of people still picture those old boxy trailers when they hear modular home. Yeah, the image problem is real, but we've come a long way, baby. We have. But then there's financing, which we talked about earlier. 
that can still be a hurdle for some folks. And zoning regulations. Remember how we talked about higher density housing? Right. A lot of those old zoning rules, they're stuck in the past. They actually prevent the kind of innovative projects that modular construction makes possible. So it's not just about building better homes. It's about changing the whole system around housing. Exactly. Perceptions, regulations, financing models. It all needs to evolve. It's a tall order, but the potential is huge. More affordable housing, faster construction, sustainability. The benefits go on and on. And let's not forget about the jobs. A thriving housing sector means more jobs, more economic growth. It's a win-win for everyone. Man, we could talk about this all day. Right. But hopefully, this deep dive has given you a taste of what modular housing is all about. It definitely has. We've covered so much ground from financing and construction to sustainability and design. And busted some myths along the way. Totally. So next time you hear about affordable housing, think modular. Think innovation. Think possibility. Because this is the future of housing, folks, and it's looking bright. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive, everyone. We'll catch you next time for another fascinating conversation.